Well, good morning from day two of this exhilarating adventure across the state of Tamil Nadu. After a quite underwhelming start, today I plan on embarking to two new villages, which I probably can't pronounce, but I'm still going to tell. Mandavanur is one of them. I may have butchered that name. And the second one being Kukal. Both these places around Kodai Canal are mysteriously popular for unwary travelers who love hiking, who love enjoying the panoramic view with little to no tourists around. So yes, hopefully this one will be much better than the one that was recorded yesterday and yeah, join me on this exhilarating journey across the state of Tamil Nadu in the district of Dindigal. Good morning. So it looks like this is a taxi that's going to take us all the way to these offbeat destinations. Good morning. Good morning. Just two minutes. Yeah, sure, sure. You're staying four days, no? Yes, Yesterday, one day finished. Days. Today, another more, two, two, two more days, no? Yes. We can cover it. All we can cover it, right? Yeah. So it is going to take how, how long to reach to these villages? This, uh, today we are going to, uh, that uh, Manjamanur is uh, one hour from here. One hour? Yeah, one hour. Kukal. It's from here to 40 kilometers from Kukal. 40 kilometers. Yes. And the journey is beautiful. Yeah, the roads yeah, are yeah. Beautiful. You have to cover the, all the forest areas. Inside only we are going. Very nice. Well, yeah. we embark our journey. Yeah. It's good for this place. But I can is more people coming here, all the people going there. Okay. Yeah, that is the main reason. Often referred as a prince of hill stations, Kodai Kanal is one of the most popular place to visit in summer as a part of honeymoon trips. It is situated at an altitude of 7000 feet above sea level which is just about 2000 meters on the southern tip of the upper Palani hills. It has several scenic natural attractions which are enjoyed by its visitors and makes it a popular romantic destination. Modern Kodai Canal was established by American Christian missionaries and British bureaucrats in 1945 as a refuge from the high temperatures and tropical disease of the plains. In the 20th century, a few elite Indians started relocating to this enchanting hill station and it started becoming popular among the nature lover. Kodai can be visited all throughout the year. It is not extensively commercialized like Uti or Munnar and it also offers a pleasant experience to tourists with a relatively less crowd. Well, we had finally taken a pit stop and the reason why we had done that is to get a glimpse of this amazing view. Check it out. This is unlike anything that I've seen. I think somewhere far over there is Kodai Canal. And this is the highway that is taking us all the way to the village Kukal. But what a view this is. Time to soldier on and not waste any much time. The horses. Yeah, oh. it's nice, beautiful. The earliest residents of Kodai Canal were the Palia tribal people. Kodai Canal was established in 1845 as a resort town where people would come to find refuge from the high temperatures and the tropical disease of the plains. Down there, we have the village of Pumbarai. But I was told that in a couple of hours, clouds are going to shroud over this valley, which means I will not be able to capture this blistering view. Let's check it out. Let's hold it on. Well, when I visited Tamil Nadu for the very first time, I had this assumption that it would be dry and very sweltering. 
but this place is absolutely beautiful just check out this for a landscape kind of reminds me of my time in kashmir beautiful meadows grasslands mountains up in the distance pine trees wow these are the kind of places that you'll be able to witness when you go off grid particularly in an amazing country like india much of the local economy is based on the hospitality industry serving tourism as you travel along the road winding through the lush wood and forest you understand this analogy even before you step foot into the place kodaikanal a hill station in tamil nadu is an ideal weekend getaway for city dwellers looking to lose themselves in nature and experience a form of nirvana away from the stress and strain of modern life's rat race kodaikanal has a lot to offer both traditional tourist attractions and off the beat part activities for the more disconcerting or adventurous the weather in this area is mild and pleasant all year allowing you to visit the canopy hill at any time well we finally made it to the first uh, village here in kukal where people go about living their normal lives we have some restaurants if you want to grab some supper people chilling out early in the morning wow let's see if we can find some nature spots well we managed to negotiate with some villagers around who are going to take us to these offbeat location because it could be quite dangerous to go by yourself the views around can be any better Let's check it out also fortunately we do not have the mist ruining our heart beautiful views well this is where the hike begins i'm fortunate that most of it is a descent but the people right in front of me are the villagers who are going to safely take me to these remote locations where i can hopefully get some amazing pictures and clips so that i can show you guys once i head back to the city because this place is completely off the grid there is no electricity there is no internet connection unsolid from any sort of commercialization wow this there's someone down there i'm not sure if you guys can listen to it but we are approaching close to the waterfall it's been about 5 kilometers that i have climbed down the hill and i think in a couple of kilometers i'll be able to witness that magnificent of nature spot what a place right over here we have some villagers who are running errands living about their daily lives well this short trek for about 10 kilometers was mostly about descending down from up to the waterfall but i'm kind of concerned how it's going to be when i'll have to head my way back up again which is again an arduous 10 kilometers of a hike wow located just 35 kilometers away from kodaikanal the village is surrounded by palani hills the village leaves you in awe of its scenic beauty the lush greenery and the aura of the entire village only gives you a glimpse of what you are about to experience 
the journey from Kodaikanal to Kukal village is very serene. The thick pine and eucalyptus tree on both sides of the roads form an avenue landscape and provide natural shade. Early morning drive on this route is a paradise for someone who enjoys nature. As you enter the village, you're welcomed by the picturesque lake called the Kukul Lake. Hills on the bank elevate its beauty to another level. The floating carpet of lotus plantations add to the whole charm of this place. Kukul Fall Trek takes you through mud trail initially and then through a dense forest. The forest trail consisting of lush green bushes also engulfs you as you walk past them. The roar of the waterfalls can be heard throughout the forest trail. There's somewhere down there. I'm not sure if you guys can listen to it, but we are approaching close to the waterfall. The total trek is about 10 kilometers and is termed as an easy trek. A perfect trek for beginner to start trekking or even for experienced trekker to witness this beautiful trek. The waterfall is the main attraction of this trek. This 300 foot waterfall is a beautiful sight to soak in after an hour and a half descent. Oh. Imagine getting stranded in this labyrinth of a mess. Fortunately, I have two doggos accompanying me. So these guys are well worse with the terrain over here. After a steep descent for about an hour, you enter the forest section of the trek. The forest section is very dense. As you enter the forest section, these bushes form a canopy and the trail gets narrower so the only one person can navigate at a time. As you approach the end of the trail, notice a small stream on your left. Immediately after this, you come across a clearing. This is where you can spot the waterfall. On the left side of the waterfall, there is a stream that flows to the other side of the jungle and the entire site is just magnificent. Well, let's see how far we can go. The area around the flow of the waterfall can easily be climbed. It makes a great backdrop for the pictures. The trek back to the starting point is completely uphill, but the initial forest stretch is not as tiresome as the densely populated trees protect you from the harsh sunlight. Well, I managed to finally ascend up. It took me about two hours. I'm kind of knackered. Time to head back. The best time to do this trek is from September to March. This region receives heavy rainfall in the month of July and August. This makes the waterfall look really beautiful. But as the trekking route is a steep downhill, trekking during monsoon can be risky. Well, I must say that place kind of caught me off guard. That is one of the most beautiful trek that I've had in Tamil Nadu. And I want to thank him for taking me all this way. And no amount of money can justify the beauty of this place. Just check it out. We are gonna head to another village. Though I'm kind of knackered, uh, I will still make the most out of this day because I got an ample amount of time. It's just probably 12 o'clock right now. So we are going to Kukal Lake. Kukal Lake. Yeah. And after that, Mannavaram. Mannavaram. How far is Mannavaram from here? From here to eight and six, fifteen kilometers. Fifteen kilometers. Yes. Well, this is. Another pit stop on our way back to Mannavanur, which is the next village I'm heading. This is kind of a touristy place, but nonetheless, it's quite beautiful. Just check it out. The beautiful Kuka Lake. And here we have some locals hanging around. What a place. Okay. 
Well, let's explore the village of Gundavarur. Not sure if that is the right pronunciation, but it looks quite touristy. Have horse rides for tourists. People selling their souvenirs for kids. Some small fruit center. Let's explore further. Check it out. Wow. It's kind of baffling if you if you tell anyone this is Tamil Nadu. Because this kind of this landscape kind of reminds me of my time in North India. Has to be one of the best places. Have a stroll and see how far we can walk by. Grab some supper since I haven't done my breakfast, and then probably head back to my place. But it was quite an interesting journey. It kind of caught me off guard, though. I, never, I wasn't expecting this to be so amazing, especially the waterfall in Kukal. That thing came out of surprise, and I'm so grateful to encounter some lovely people here in Tamil Nadu who helped me explore these regions because without them. Until next time.